Hey, how are you guys doing? So we have now gone past the second episode of Love Life Superstar for season two. And of course, that episode was focusing on the main five girls trying to recruit more girls. And of course, they have Kinako, but they struggle to go past that. So with that out of the way, we are going to then discuss the rankings for these girls. So let's start with ninth place. So ninth place goes to Natsumi, eight goes to Shiki. 7 goes to Ren, 6 goes to Chisato, 5th goes to Cuckoo, 4th goes to Mei, 3rd goes to Sumire, 2nd goes to Kinako, and 1st goes to Kanom. So, yeah, the rankings didn't change that much this episode, and I don't think there is a great reason to. The one that actually changed was Mei. She shifted up two places, and therefore uh, Chisato and Cuckoo fell down each fell down a place but beyond that the actual placings actually stayed the exact same from the last episode so of course the episode was focusing on Kanon and you know most of the girls but you know mostly Kanon and most Kinako those were definitely the two girls that got the most focus on there and you can see that you know they did very well Kanon still getting first place though not by as much she got the most second and third place votes she did not get the most first place votes like Kinoko did, but it's because she had a lot more votes in the top or half. That's why she ends up winning, and that's why uh, Kinoko didn't win, because she got a little bit more votes towards the back. Some people are not convinced on her yet, so that's why she won. It wasn't by a dramatic amount, but you know, Kano still ended up winning, and so a lot of people gave her first places. She got the second most first place votes. And, you know, you can see kind of won by, in most sections, the one section she definitely did falter in is in the 10 to 14 year olds. She did not do quite as well. So that's the one section she didn't do as well, but 10 to 14 year olds usually doesn't have a lot of voters in. That's why it can be more extreme. So, you know, just so you know, Kinoko ended up winning in a younger category. As well as the 15 to 20 year olds, which is usually the main demographic. When we pass that, Sunmin still remains in third. Notable thing is she got the least my last places. Good for her. Though a big jump would be for May. She jumps up by a good amount, getting fourth place. And she ends up getting pretty good results in the 10 to 14 year old and 21 through 25 year old. She's the one that got the big jump in this episode because we got to see a lot more of her. Potentially one joining next, maybe? And with, you know, the interactions with Kinoko and Mei, you could definitely see a lot of people were able to see more about Mei and, you know, open up to her and seeing, you know, she definitely loves idols and her synodic kind of antics. And a lot of people seem to react to that nicely. As you can see, she's definitely moved up more and more of her votes are towards the top, you know, just not last place, basically. But, you know, you can see a little bit more being sh shifted up towards the top. And that's why she was in getting fourth place. But it goes to Cuckoo. I, I definitely see some people who are not a big fan of her, especially because of her antics and how she treats Sumina. I don't really see that as her trying to be mean. That's just, you know, I sometimes do that with my friends and goof off and, you know, say you're dumb or whatever. Or it's always your fault. But, you know, I don't, I don't see that being serious and Sumina just doesn't really take it as so much of a problem but some people really don't like that part about her and that's why she's definitely fallen towards bomb definitely not the worst but you know some people like her but she's we'll see if she falls off harder she's up those in six big problem you'll notice is not liked by the, the younger audience and then ren hasn't really done well for quite some time shiki we don't have haven't seen a whole lot of her so she definitely failed to grab the top and last place goes to natsumi she just does not do well, but the younger audience appreciates her, so kind of like Nico territory and, you know, getting half the votes for last place definitely will hurt. So here are the overall results for this episode, as well as the results for the previous episodes. So as you can see, there is definitely a lot of similarities in terms of the placings. In fact, all of the you know, places I do highlight are the same. It's the three that I didn't highlight that actually changed. That's kind of a funny coincidence, but you can see where there were some improvements or disimprovements. You see Kano 
did a little worse, but she still maintains first. But Kiniko does a little better. Cuckoo's falling off a little bit. And Mei did a pretty good jump as her average dropped by a whole one placing, which is pretty significant. And you can see that people are starting to warm up more towards her. Natsumi is the one who is definitely, people are wary of her and not so crazy about her antics. You can see that people can find her a bit annoying right now. So she's probably the one that most people need to really get to see more of and see probably the other sides of her that you're are not like being loud and kind of that annoying streamer girl kind of thing that she kind of has right now. So that's definitely something that we need to see sooner than later because she's definitely come off on the wrong foot for a lot of people and you know I, I I kind of agree with some people that I think she kind of feels that Nico side of characters and that's popular with some people but really unpopular with a lot of other people so we'll have to see there are some potential moments that we could see that she doesn't be like the knowing Nico but even Nico does, has those moments too but then um, Ren I don't know we already seen enough to her for people not to be crazy about her but we'll have to see and then Shiki we need just more time but anyways those were the results and here are the demographics of those voters if you're curious to see what was the breakdown of each group and of course thank you to all the people who participated in this poll thank you so much I really do appreciate it. again this poll would not be possible without you guys so please do participate and share what other people who you think would be interested in this well so we could see the breakdown of each character and of course shout out to youtube members like coolmax for supporting the channel thank you so much i really do appreciate it anyways here are the comments that everyone has left on my poll so if you're curious to see a quick rundown of how a lot of these people felt about it but let me know what you guys think about this episode and what you think about the new girls and liella we got a pretty decent idea of how we feel about kinago now is she she's more or less integrated in the group and we've seen a decent amount of her to, to get a good feeling of how we feel about her we're starting to get there with may not quite there i think but definitely she seems to have the second most and let me know what you guys think about each of the new individual girls and of course what you thought about that episode of course at the end there was that little teaser of that new girl what do you guys think about that new girl what do you think she will be if i had to make a guess right now i'm just guessing another rival group not necessarily passion so who knows so now another girl from another school and they're gonna be the rivals and gee, i'm better than you or something like i don't know something like that we'll have to see but anyways what well, thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below and hope to catch you guys in another video soon